Exercise is interesting in terms of effects on the brain because it, it, it works in about four or five different ways. Uh, one of the most obvious ways is blood flow. And so if you uh, get your heart working, your brain's going to be filled with um, oxygen-rich blood and nutrients. So that's the main way that, that we thought it helps. The other way that's sort of interesting uh, is it's been thought that exercise produces uh, new neurons. And so exercise induces the production of growth factors, one, one's called BDNF and it actually stimulates the production of new brain cells. Now, when I was in school 20 years ago, we were told you can't get any new brain cells. So when you're born, that's your lot. You know, you're not gonna make any more. But more recently, we found that uh, exercise is a really good way of, of stimulating brain cell production. And some of these are functional. And so um, just this notion that something that you can do can generate new brain cells is, is a really great uh, uh, th th thing to think about. So we, we were wondering why exercise helps the brain. And what one theory is it just reduces stress. So maybe it's not that uh, your blood is coming to the brain, maybe you're less stressed and then, you know. And that, that was something that imaging allowed us to test. And so we scanned a whole lot of people with high cortisol levels. And so if you're stressed, if you're you're angry about something, or even if you're stuck in traffic, your cortisol levels can be very high. But one of the things we found is that the people with high uh, cortisol levels lost brain tissue faster. Well, that's a serious problem. So as soon as you know that's true, you can look at ways of reducing your cortisol. And so that's a very easy thing to do. I mean, we, we can get less stressed by um, exercising, walking, taking breaks. And so imaging established a physical connection between something in your blood, the cortisol that's a sign of stress, and actual physical changes in the brain. That's very useful to know take care of your brain and, and uh, there's a lot of ways we know that you can take care of your brain you can eat a good diet uh, you can exercise you can reduce stress um, you can make sure you're well educated and these things just build up a sort of mental bank account for the future and so e even though it seems like uh, you know work is hard I mean you're building a store of brain connections that you'll need for the rest of your life so these are practical messages that we've learned from imaging a lot of people so.